Rating, plus 41 plus X. Item hash, SCP-1752. Object class, Euclid. Special, containment procedures. SCP-1752-1 is currently contained in a soundproofed cabinet equipped with a microphone and speaker, in the function room of the hotel. Manchester, United Kingdom. This latter is designated Site 381. As SCP-1752-1 remains immobile except in the case of Delta events. Current containment efforts are focused on preventing these events. Site 381 should be staffed by a minimum of four agents to monitor SCP-1752-1 activity and prevent unauthorized access. These agents should receive a rudimentary training in traditional medicine as practiced in 17th century England. See document 1752 training for full details and provided with copies of Avicenna's The Canon of Medicine. John Gerald Serbal, or General History of Plants, and Heinrich Kramer's Malleus Maleficarum for use in Protocol 1752 Oracle. SCP-1752-1 is to be continually monitored via the microphone located in its cabinet for activation. Events. Upon activation, identity of the SCP-1752-3 entity should be established if possible. If the entity is already known and catalogued, no further communication is necessary on the part of the responding agent, though the behavior of the entity should be monitored and any unusual activity reported to the project director. If the SCP-1752-3 entity appears to be unknown, efforts should be made to determine its identity, and it should be catalogued and assigned a numerical sub-designation if possible. All new SCP-1752-3 entities should be reported to the project director in the weekly report. If the entity is identified as SCP-1752-3 Prime, Protocol 1752 Oracle must be enacted immediately to prevent a Delta event. If a Delta event should occur, Agents are to immediately contact the project director for the inaction of Protocol 1752 Covenant to lure SCP-1752-1 back into containment. The recordings made of SCP-1752-3 behavior are subject to ongoing analysis in the hope of determining the nature and present location of SCP-1752-2 for its future containment. Details of Protocols 1752 Oracle and 1752 Covenant for study by new recruits to SCP-1752 may be found in Document 1752 Protocols. Description SCP-1752-1 is a static point in space from which vocal manifestations periodically, roughly every one to five hours, emerge. These manifestations are identical to sounds produced by non-anomalous means at the point of origin and are therefore audible by anyone standing nearby and detectable by all types of audio equipment. Persons hearing the sounds produced by SCP-1752-1 will describe them as perfectly clear and understandable, and as being spoken in the language and dialect with which they are most comfortable. The voice quality of these manifestations is consistent across repeated hearings by the same person, though descriptions differ between listeners. It is universally described as neither obviously male nor female and possessing no particular distinguishing features. SCP-1752-2 is the tentative designation given to the object, collection of objects, or object and associated actions which enable a person to project sound through to SCP-1752-1. Efforts are ongoing to determine its nature and location so that it may be contained. SCP-1752-3 collectively refers to the entities that speak through SCP-1752-1. Currently there are 14 distinctly identified SCP-1752-3 entities. 
and to further record and manifestations which have not been firmly matched to any SCP-1752-3 entity. As entities all speak with the same voice, identification may only be achieved through recognition of behavior patterns. Communication with these entities is possible by projecting audio near SCP-1752-1, both naturally produced sound, such as human speech, and sound played through speakers have proved effective. Notable SCP-1752-3 entities include SCP-1752-3D, self-identification George Lockstead, who seems to treat SCP-1752-2 as some kind of recording device and spends 10 to 15 minutes describing the events of his day. Apparently lives in London in the late 19th century. Manifestations usually occur between 1900 and 2100 hours. SCP-1752-3G, who regularly sings songs popular in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Manifestations may be up to 20 minutes in length, and usually occur between 0630 and 1000 hours. SCP-1752-3K, who speaks to SCP-1752-2 in a manner which indicates he believes it to reply to him. Despite no communication by Foundation personnel, SCP-1752-3 Prime, self-identification Demdike, believed by the Foundation to be the initial owner of SCP-1752-2, it, data expunged, capable of causing Delta events. In order to prevent these from occurring, Protocol 1752 Oracle should be enacted as soon as SCP-1752-3 Prime is identified, plus Addendum 1752A. Level 4 Clearance Required. Incident 1752 over 1. 200. Manifestation Transcription. Note. Prior to this point, SCP-1752-1 was believed completely immobile and a site had been constructed surrounding its location in Lancashire. Containment procedures involved the recording of all vocal manifestations, but restrictions were in place forbidding reply of any kind. SCP-1752-3 Prime Demons of the Dark and Deep Servants of the Devil It is I, Demdike. Less than there is a pause of about 10 seconds. Greater than SCP-1752-3 Prime. Sulking again. Are you? Well, I have a surprise for you. I have been back to see Mr. Dear, to complain about what he sold me. Less than another pause of about 10 seconds. Greater than SCP-1752-3 Prime. He asked that I mention him to you by name. He said you would know him. I see that is not enough to get you to respond to me. So I shall follow the instructions he gave me to adjust this so I may talk to someone else. If you will not provide me with the answers I seek, then perhaps another will. Less than SCP-1752-3 Prime stops speaking, and various quiet noises are audible, as of items being moved around. SCP-1752-3 Prime can be heard muttering, although no particular words are audible. This continues for approximately 1 minute and 20 seconds. Greater than SCP-1752-3 Prime. This is your last chance. Will you tell me the medicines I need today? Less than a pause of 6 seconds. Greater than SCP-1752-3 Prime. Fine. You will not hear from me again. I will seek knowledge where there is a greater quantity of it. Shortly following this manifestation, the first recorded Delta event occurred, and SCP-1752-1 stopped producing any manifestations. It was considered neutralized until reports reached the Foundation 16 days later of a similar phenomenon which had spontaneously appeared in the redacted meeting house in the nearby city of during a monthly meeting of the Homeopathy Society. 
containment was moved to this location and proceeded as before. Until another Delta event occurred on 201 and SCP-1752-1 shifted to the larger city of interrupting a meeting of the National Botanist Convention. It was at this point that an exception to Foundation Policy 713, Anomalous Object Appeasement, was received from O5 and Protocol 1752 Oracle was developed as a contingency. A protocol to lure SCP-1752 back into containment if it should breach again was developed. Codenamed Protocol 1752 Covenant. Since this time, it has been necessary to enact Protocol 1752 Covenant only once. With the appearance of an annual meeting of local traditional Chinese medicine practitioners, which caused the shift to current containment location as expected, 